Good to see you today, Todd. First, Caterpillar. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. It's uh, it, Caterpillar's in a sort of a challenged uh, environment right here. Uh, industrials are not so much in favor as we're seeing the rotation back in. Uh, the numbers specifically to cat, we're, we're solid. As I said, we're you know in a in a strengthening dollar environment, which is impacting so many multinationals. Uh, it's a very interest rate sensitive stock. Uh, the revenues were short by about a hundred million. Uh, margins are are slightly under pressure. Um, I don't personally own Cat uh, Contessa. I I actually prefer uh, John Deere. Uh, their margins are both running about 29%, uh, the gross margin, but J uh, John Deere runs a little bit better operating margin at 3%, showing better uh, five year. Uh, average revenue growth compared to the slower mover cat. So if you want to play in the industrial space, I would say go there. I'm a no touch on cat. Mm. All right, no touch on cat. How about Uber? Uber, I, I like it, Tyler. It's uh, it, it's a lot of things going on here. Uh, it's been it's been basings I just mentioned. As we're seeing this rotation back into growth, it was setting up here in July. Uh, if we can break a little bit higher, uh, the real test tower is going to be about thirty one and a half. If you could buy it closer to that break at about twenty five, that'd be great. I'd entertain it for a trade. Uh, you know, so look, I mean, they were expected to uh, to lose twenty seven cents. They lost like a dollar thirty. Not a great quarter. Uh, their margins, EBITDA margins, a percent of gross bookings were increasing. Uh, they also showed in the, in the presentation that their uh, rides as a percent of U.S., their U.S. rides was increasing. So we're seeing people kind of reemerge from the pandemic going out and use using Ubers. But I'm, I'm worried longer term, um, you know, they have 28, 29 billion in gross bookings. It's up year over year, they're only making $8 billion in revenue. A lot of that, guys, goes to the drivers. Drivers are a huge cost. It's hard to attract drivers. And unless Uber can move into the autonomous, into the self-driving, uh, I, I have a hard time looking at this longer term for a trade. I like the action, good rotation up. You know, if you want to play it for a 5 mm -hmm. or 10% move, but longer term, I don't know how they, how they can compete. All right, and what about uh, Pinterest? We've got Pinterest here with an activist investor joining up. Yeah, yeah, it's super. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know it's a, it's a hard activist position with Elliot, new uh, CEO in place. Uh, you know the revenues were solid. The the, the revenue growth is nine percent quarter over quarter. Uh, pretty good. Uh, they're expected to make about eighty eight cents, so it's twenty six times next year. Uh, you know the, the 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 problem here is they're. They've only made about 10 percent or sorry, 10 cents so far this year. They were looking to make about 80 cents. So in order to, to justify these forward valuations, they're really going to have to fire on all cylinders. Uh, their EBITDA margin went down from 29 percent to mm. like 15 percent. And given the guidance that they put forward here, it's going to be hard to keep that. So I would expect further compression in margins. It's going to be hard to deliver on this again. If you want to play the rotation up and play a quick trade, fine. But longer term, I, I think there's too much competition from Instagram. They have a billion and a half users. Pinterest is only 450 million. They have a long way to go.